done and dusted and my feet are shattered. I need to put more padding in my shoes. Look, to be honest, I don't know how long I've had these shoes for. Um, so it's only just now that the inside's thinning out. Um, so Crosby, where can I buy more of your shoes? Not gonna lie, where, where can I buy more of your shoes? Because it seems chorus shoes are really hard to find unless you're a dancer. And I gave up dancing when I was 13 years old. So um, I don't really wanna walk into a dance shop. Because I don't wanna. Also, dance shops are really expensive and nobody warns you about that. But like, Crosby, you had to grow up. I will like, wear your shoes. Um, like, legit, I've been wearing Crosby's for since like I was a kid. Um, pretty sure most dance shoes are Crosby's. Actually, no, that's a lie. Maybe mine were. Anyway, um, but I actually wanted to talk about, speaking of trying to get that, um, I actually want to talk about a few things. My costume, for example. Uh, so I was Christmas characters all weekend, Christmas Harlequin, Christmas Joker, as you can see. And I actually wanted to talk about where I got these costumes from. Because a lot of people try to gatekeep this information. And also when it comes to buying your own costumes, it's very gatekeepy. Uh, which really sucks because, like, why? We should be supporting and allowing other people to not feel judged when they store bought costumes. I kind of felt self-conscious yesterday, I'm not going to lie. I was Christmas Harlequin. I was in the lift with a bunch of other cosplayers. Because didn't realize that we all shared the same hotel. We had the same minds. Anyway, I was the only person who bought store-bought costumes, and they made theirs. And they were like, "Did you make it?" And I was like, <laughs> and then I felt really self-conscious because these guys made their costumes, and I'm like, "Cool." So anyway, I want to talk about where I got mine from. So uh, Christmas Harlequin. This is like Avenue in the box, but that's not where I got it from. I got it from Costume Box. Costume Box is actually really great. No, I'm not sponsored or paid by them, but like, hi, Costume Box. Hi, my pirate Harlequin's one of you guys as well. So, hi. Um, but anyway, this is my Christmas Harley. Um, the dress, anyway. Uh, I've had these, both these outfits since about 2018, 2019. Um, I want to say 2019, because I started getting TikTok memories. So I want to say about 2019. So they've held up pretty well. Um, and I usually only wear them during Christmas time, because Christmas. Um, I've worn them to work. Um, they are pretty movable and easy to work in, um, which is really surprising when you worked, well, at the time I worked in a supermarket and, you know, <laughs> when you have to move boxes and lift stock and fill shelves, these actually held up pretty well in a supermarket. I'm not gonna lie, I'm also surprised that my boss let me wear this. She was like, okay with it. All right, um, but yeah, so they, these are pretty well to work in. Um, these are the biggest sizes that they had, so they're both, what the fuck size are you? Alright, uh, fine, didn't tell me this size then, bite me. Oh, they, they're definitely the largest size, which I think is about an XL. Um, so you can see in my videos and my photos what I look like, and also now you can see what this one looks like. I did try to go into Costume Box the other day to try and buy new ones. I'm not on the fucking website anymore. Come on, costume box. You guys are awesome. And now, you know. Um, but they've held up pretty well, except now that the white's turning yellow. And someone said I could, like, re-trim it. But I don't know how to do that. Also, I'm really scared to do that. Um, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> but yeah, it's just something to turn yellow. Um, unfortunately, though, last night, I was getting changed. And I kind of cried because uh, I noticed... There's a hole starting to form, little itty bitty hole starting to form in my armpits, um, which which kind of really sucks because these are really good. They are not even that hot either. Like I've worn both these in Australian summers, which is when our December Christmas is. So they held up pretty well. You can wear it all night, all day. You don't die, which is great because that's even better. Uh, they are a bit thin, so just be mindful of that. They are also like. Because they are a bit thin, they can be a bit see-through, specifically the red one. I've gotten photos back where you could see what color spike shorts I was wearing, which is not really great. But, you know, it, it did its job. Also, it probably didn't help where I was standing because of lighting. Um, but, yeah, I, I love this. Um, unfortunately, I also noticed yesterday that the zipper's starting to become a bitch. Um, but zippers are a bitch in general. Um, and also, trying to put this on with makeup was not a smart decision. But it, it's pretty well, I, I would buy one of these again, but costume box, come on, like Avenue, hello, uh, <laughs> like hello, why don't you have one anymore? The antlers I got from 
Big W a couple of years ago. Um, I also, I'm, they're, they're missing, they're surviving. <laughs> like, they're barely hanging on, but they're surviving. Just, look, it was Big W, it was what I had. Um, anyway, so again, with this, I also bought this whole set from um, Costume Box. Oh, the, the Harley dress comes with a belt. It's fake leather belt. Um, not as comfy. Also, doesn't have as many holes. Um, so I ended up having to tape it to stick to my body. Um, but yes, Costume Box for this. Oh, it came with a hat, but the hats never actually fit my head. Because it turns out I have a big head. Um, Explained a lot. Um, but yeah, California costumes, which is also again from costume box that comes with the stockings, which you can't really see, but I'm wearing. Everybody loved my stockings this weekend. The only downfall is um my stockings are now see-through and uh now have holes in them. So you know that's not great. But again, I've had both these costumes since 2019, so they've held up pretty well. Um the only downfall is this one doesn't have a zipper. It's only got the lace um, at the front here, and you can only loosen it. It's all like connected, so that's that's a bitch to deal with. Um, I forgot that I tightened it, and I couldn't figure out how to put my dress on this morning. It's really funny, but like the fact that it's held up pretty well since 2019, and I've worn it every Christmas um, that I have, like with family at work. You know, I've worn it to cons. It's not too bad. I mean. I'm only just feeling now the fact that it's left imprints on my arms from the elastic around here. Um, but that's just because my body is my body. But like, it's not too bad. I, I do want to get an updated version. Again, because the yellow, uh, the white starting to yellow, which kind of sucks. Um, also the fact that I've probably gained too much weight and it doesn't fit as well as I thought it would. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. If you guys were ever looking for costumes they've held up pretty well i highly recommend costume box my pirate harley quinn the the hat and the um coats that i wear they were both from costume box the only downfall is that again it was the biggest size extra large the belt doesn't do up so i had to get some more velcro in order to keep the belt on my body um otherwise i just couldn't breathe who needs to breathe but i i, I thought i was just talking about costume box um but yeah not like I'm after a sponsorship or anything like that, but I'm just saying, like, if you're ever after store-bought costumes and you're in Australia, hit up Costume Box. 1010 recommend. Um, my wigs, this one's an eBay wig. My Harley Quinn one that I've worn um, is a Rockstar wig. Um, I bought it from Berserk, which, again, 1010 recommend Berserk. I cannot recommend this at all. enough. Um, but, yeah, I just... Oh, it feels good. I just wanted to share that. Like, don't be afraid to wear store-bought costumes. Don't be afraid to cause the cosplay. Yes, it, it's a lot of people get very gatekeepy when it comes to the fact that store-bought costumes are not cosplay. But like, fuck them. They are wrong. Because you are still putting effort into being a character that you love. And it doesn't matter, you know, how much money you spend, how little you spend, how high tech, how low tech, how armor field, how non field that your character is. It's the fact that you're comfortable enough to wear that costume. Now these obviously are just above my knee, like these are where my shorts are, so where my shorts sit. And that's both, and they're both the same length. Um, and normally I wear them with leggings, but con days I don't. Um, but yeah, I just I just wanted to show it off and be like, wear, wear costumes, store bought costumes. It's okay, no one's gonna judge you. Sometimes you will feel self-conscious because I felt really self-conscious yesterday and I can't lie, it really fucking hurt. But that's a mean problem. And they weren't being judgy, they were just really curious and I was just like, fuck you. Um, all about costumes to get just as much love as made costumes, it doesn't matter. Anyway, but that's my tangent video for the day. <laughs> See you guys.